Welcome back to our fourth day of the first 12 days preparation for consecration to Our Lady. And my name is Brother Julian Mary from the Community Knights of the Holy Eucharist. As we move forward in this preparation, we notice from our last readings a movement growing with intensity and not just simply despising the spirit of the world, but also shedding light on the darkness in our mind. Our Lord said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness. Today, we are moving, shifting from the Gospel of St. Matthew to another beautiful spiritual book called The Imitation of Christ. Mindful of our theme, Renouncement of the Spirit of the World. We now begin with two considerations. First, who is man? And second, who is God? Man is a creature, which simply means he exists and cannot exist without his creator. Though endowed with many gifts that reflect the beauty and the omnipotence of his creator, though man is the pinnacle of God's creation described in the book of Genesis, though he is the living splendor far surpassing than the beauty of the universe and the seas and the mountains and all that it contains because of the splendor of its souls which receives the breath of divine life given to him by his creator the distance between man and god is an abyss unimaginable even saint louis de montfort says i avow with all the church that a mere creature that has come from the hands of God is less than an atom, is nothing at all in, compar in comparison with His infinite majesty. We are nothing, but we exist because God not only created us, but lovingly sustains and nourishes us. God is all-powerful, merciful, and love, his divinity, splendor, power, and love is infinite. He is the source of all truth, of happiness, and the supreme good. He is higher than the heavens, as the book of Job describes. It is true when the author of this book writes, Lord, I am nothing. I can do nothing of myself that is good. But I am in all things defective and ever tend to nothing. Some people may argue, I did good works. Yes, that's true. But have we realized that it is the infinite goodness of God and it is really working in us? Or have we realized that it is the grace of God that animates us to do such marvelous works? Can we boast of whatever good that is in us without acknowledging God, the source of all goodness and all good things? The spirit of the world does not have any consideration for God. They are blinded by the spirit of this world and by their own pride. And so we must renounce the spirit of the world and the spirit of pride that provokes them. And for us who is watching closely this worldly spirit in these days of preparation, we must be aware that pride diminishes our zeal to advance in spiritual life and in holiness. Be aware also of our strong tendency not to advance. And so we are given this direction and encouragement. Practice the virtue of humility. Keep your spirit in order and subjection. And move forward with the resoluteness of the spirit of fervor of a warrior knight. Let us ask the assistance of the Blessed Virgin as we continue in this preparation. From the litany, we have this beautiful title of Our Lady, Mother of Divine Grace. St. Louis de Montfort says, God gathers all the waters and he called it the sea. God gathers all the graces and he called it Mary. Indeed, Mary is the Mother of Divine Grace, as the book of Sirach says contains all the graces. The Archangel Gabriel confirmed this during the Annunciation. Grazia plena. And so let us proceed and approach the throne of grace.